Our next time distractor are things that are not important and not urgent, but sometimes take us away from doing the main thing. Something that's not important is not urgent, but sometimes we just do ourselves is that little kid that comes in and he's got his belt all around and it's around his knees and half around his neck and hey Mr. Silva can you help me tie my belt? Well yeah I like to do that it's, it's a fun thing to do and I can build rapport with that student but if I'm already doing what's important and I'm on the floor teaching I really shouldn't be using that time and taking the time away from the 23 other students to tie that belt. That's what my leadership team members are there for and that's what my SWAT team members are there for. SWAT team members, again, are just kind of learning the, the ropes of getting on the floor and being role models, but they should be able to tie a belt. If someone comes over and I'm getting ready for the next class and they go, hey, I want to come to parents night out, where do I sign up? I shouldn't take myself off the floor to handle that situation. Again, it's most people's tendency is that they want to do everything themselves, but again, you want to make sure you're spending all your time on the important things and the main things on the floor. So things that are small distractions, they're not important, they're not even urgent. I mean, sometimes someone's belt, they want to have it done, but it's not something that has to be done right away. And it's not that important. I know it's important to them, but it's not that important in the whole scheme of things. So everything in that quadrant should be handled by leadership members or SWAT team members. It's not a job for you. It's not even a job for your assistant instructors. I, I don't want, again, you know, if all of a sudden you're not in class and you're just walking around and someone needs help with tying a belt, yeah, do that. But I'm talking about when it comes go time. When it comes go time, class is bowed in and I have 45 minutes of my attention to these students that are in front of me and I have a job to work with them and make sure everyone has that great experience. The main thing is the main thing. All these other things that come up during the class, I have to make sure that I have a well-trained team. So in other words, I said well-trained. So my SWAT team members, they're well-trained on these little situations. They know how to tie a belt in reverse, so if someone comes over and they need a belt tie, they can do it. My leadership members know when our events are, they know how much our events cost, they know where the sign-up sheet is, they can take care of that. I don't have to do that. Now, if something really important comes up and it's urgent, again, to have a medical emergency, well, I want to make sure a key person's taking care of that medical emergency. So now I have my assistant instructor, or I have my uh, front end office person, they're taking care of that. But again, they've been trained on that with pre problems, they know how to handle it. I've gone over, over, and over. So, you know, that's in, even in our manual, you know, what to do in certain situations. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you more time on the floor doing the main thing, although it may take more time spending with training right now. So you're going to have to write these things down, concentrate on the four quadrants, start listing things that could happen that can distract you away from what's important to work on either what's not important and urgent, what's urgent and important, but do those four quadrants. If you need a good visual, just Google Stephen Covey four quadrants. You can actually print up one of those sheets and start writing in there all the tasks that happen in class and who should be handling those instead of you. I hope that helps you. Again, that's instructor training. It's uh, taking office uh, training techniques and education training techniques and putting it down into your staff training and on your floor training. Good luck, enjoy, and hope to see you at the convention this year. It's going to be not, I keep saying the convention, our instructor college and our program directors college on July 18th and 19th in San Antonio, Texas.